Starting a new job this morning on a, building a wall, a garden wall, 100 metres long. And we're starting here, so if you look, so we're coming down the garden. We're going to take all the pear trees out. We're coming along here. Along here. We're going to turn it on the corner. And then we're going to come right along here. Right up and along. We've got a problem here. We've got electric there. Okay. And we've got drains running through the lawn across where we're going to dig. And then we're going to come along here. Along here. And then we're going to be coming along across to there. And then along here. Ending around here. Now we've got quite a nice brick, old antique brick, and so we're going to be using them to build this wall. The wall's coming along here, and this is the drain that comes across, and comes across to the manhole here, across there. Okay, so that's the job basically, and we're going to start when the digger comes to get it all dug out, so you can show you just how we do the foundations to start with and uh, we'll continue in a minute, catch you in the dig. Okay, we've got a drain here and it runs across where the wall's going. These are the issues. And we've got the drains there and the drain there. Also, we've got water here. This needs to be looked at. We've got an electric point here, which needs to be looked at, and that goes running here with the with the with each side of it. There's your comes across, and as we showed earlier, we've got this here, some kind of GPO, and uh, we've got a light here that comes across here or the power comes down here okay so this is the project quite a big wall right across this is all coming up here and there we go good advice is to use a cat scanner so i'm going to use the cat scan to pick up electrics water and drains Nothing here, so you can check it all. We've got no electric coming down here. Right, we are going to dig the foundations now, and what you need to know is obviously the width of your wall to understand the width of the concrete. So we're doing a one brick wall, that's 225. And so you want 50 mil approximately each side for spread. And so what I'm gonna do is use this kind of bucket here, which is 450. And that'll give me plenty spread each side. And when we come to the pillars, we can obviously use that as a pillar because we're gonna put pillars in the wall. So there you go, 450 is a good spread for a one brick wall. Some people might say a bit thinner, but I like a little bit of room and a bit of standing room and you can't go wrong if you've got to adjust your wall slightly, okay?
okay what are we doing here setting out for concrete and when a tip is when you when you're measuring for concrete it's length times width times depth and that gives you the cubic meter but you have to measure into the center of the trench you don't go to the edge that's that, that's unrealistic you go to the center so you measure all your trenches to the center to the center and we'll go up down to the center that's how you measure for your concrete okay okay uh, right I showed you yesterday with the brick heights now we've pegged it leveled it spray marked them and again we've, we work it all in brick so we come through onto the concrete on there to brick there as you can see and uh, I'm putting the blue spike on the top blue paint so that you can actually so that you can actually um, see when you're concreting the top of them and so we're pegging out down here like this and we go from peg to peg knock a peg in level it up let's just lift in a bit so we level through and when you level through you have to turn your level to the next one to keep that's the rule of thumb to turn the level round every time you go to your next peg so if there's any discrepancies in your level by turning it it balances it up okay so we're going to carry on round doing this pegging to the top of the concrete and the next time I see you we'll be pouring the concrete okay Down the bottom. trusty cup of tea after a, quite a long graft but we're getting the concrete in now and I showed you um, the steps particularly wanted to show you brick so that brick comes up perfectly to that next one so there we go and it steps up each brick you just have to take your time to get that right and then each each section is leveled so that you just build through and your brick should come to there and then the next one on top and so on and uh, makes that building a lot easier if your foundations are right uh, I've worked top down and the same right around the corner which I'll show you in a minute and now I've just got to finish this section section by section and leveling as we go top of our pegs and you get it as more or less if, as level as you can and that is great for building off uh, so I'll show you in a minute when I finished but um, the next part of this project will be setting out the brickwork the fencing the pillars and uh, it's over 50 meters long this wall so uh, it's got gates in it and all sorts so catch you in a short while
Okay, that's everything done. Uh, the footings are in, 52 meters long with the walls at the side as well. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this YouTube tutorial on how to do foundations for a wall. Thank you.